and welcome to Bali. So I've been here for the past couple weeks and it's been absolutely epic and while I've been here I've been thinking about all the videos I want to create again and I've kind of been putting it off a little bit, almost like wimping out, almost like you know when you have a vision of something, you want to do something, you want to create something but like it just stays in that thought or the procrastination part and it doesn't necessarily actually happen because there's another reason that you're not getting it done or it's not quite the right time or you haven't got the right hairdo or all the factors that come up that prevent us from actually just taking action and then this morning in holy shift which is my group online program by the way open for enrollment next week so um go to superhumanyear.com if you want to join me for our Holy shift and uh, superhuman year, basically rocking your 2019 and getting all that stuff done. So in holy shift, which is where we meet online live every week, um, we had a session and it was just really cool, all the things that came up and it kicked me up the butt. And I'm like, okay, gonna get this video done and I'm gonna make a video about what came up in our holy shift session today because it was so cool and I really think if you have something you want to create you want to do you want to take action on all the visions for 2019 it was like you know the last couple weeks we were like visioning it what do I want to do what would I like my year to be like and now it's it's like getting to work time and doing it and making stuff happen and not getting pulled into the old patterns of yesterday um, then this is gonna be for you so, if you don't know me, by the way, my name is Laura, Laura Hames Franklin. I make videos on my YouTube channel a little bit inconsistently. My goal is to get more consistent with that. I am an influencer, a creator, and I have online programs that help people tap into their superhuman self. So basically dissolving all the ups and bits, <laughs> the ums and the humps and the oops and the, I don't know what language I'm talking now, but all the stuff that prevents us from being our most awesome self and tapping into our full potential basically. And a lot of that is in our subconscious, it's in our body, it's in this like deeper place that is, you know, often we're just struggling of like, why isn't it happening? And often it's kind of deep mapped, deep mapped, mapped deeply into just subconscious into patterns and it's really hard to break out and so my work helps you helps us to clear out that stuff to like update your operating system so you can be the best version of yourself and the stuff can just happen and then if you wanted to be making your epic videos you are making your epic videos so I'm gonna stop rambling and let's dive into the session so if you haven't experienced this before just roll with it and follow along and see if you feel any different at the end. So before we start, you're just gonna take a moment and just take a moment to kind of recheck in of what are all your visions for 2019. So I made a vision board last week and it's still a little bit in process. I've been mapping out my plans and my goals and I'm guessing that you have done the same. Either you've been writing them down or you've been mapping it into a schedule or you've made an epic vision board or you've just been thinking it through. Maybe you made a resolution or two. So now comes the next part of how do we make those dreams and visions happen. And sometimes we can have these visions and then be terrified because what if they don't happen? What if I can't do it? What if I don't have all the pieces? And all of the like subconscious fears and worries can come up. So we're starting getting our body to take a look at if there's any worry in our digestive system between the areas of like the compartments. So your digestive system goes from your mouth to your butt. And it, I mean, actually it starts before that it starts in your sense of smell and what do I want to bring in and eat like what would be good for me and then it goes into your mouth and you have the like mouth part breaking it down chopping it up and then you have the swallowing part like okay letting it go down and then you have the stomach part that like squishes it up and then you have the intestine part and you know all the way through to the end and then obviously the nutrients that go into your cells and so there's these almost like if it was a conveyor belt you have all these different parts of it and then in between 
it's like these areas that are like not one or the other. It's not the mouth, it's not the esophagus, or you know, it's not the stomach. It's like that kind of in-between moment. And I find that in life, when we're trying to get stuff done, we might know the things or be quite good at doing the like action part, but the in-between and the thinking about it and the shall I and the shall I, that's when we get all like warriorified and stuck. So we've got getting our bodies to take a look at is there any worry in those areas, moving it on through so that we can literally just flow from like one thing to the next. So then um, it's linking to a permission of I allow all the factors of my life to transition with ease and grace. So again, that one thing to the next thing to the next thing rather than the like procrastination or the overthinking, just like letting it move. And then that is linking to our bladders. So you know what your bladder is? The bag, muscular bag that fills up with pee pee so that you can let go of your pee and all the stuff that comes out in it. And it basically is, its job is to like hold the pee and to fill and then to release. And so it's like when we do projects, when we make things happen, if you're creating something, whatever you're doing even if it's like making breakfast there's this process of letting the bag feel full like this is ripe and ready and then we let it go um, but sometimes what can happen is we kind of half fill the bag it's not quite in the bag it's like I don't know this like feeling of projects kind of happen but they never fully reach their capacity and they never fully release they're like in this limbo state and I feel like those that like completion part is the most challenging for most people so our bladders help represent that in our body so we're tapping into the energy of our bladder to help that flow um, and then that is linking to all the months of 2019 and this image of our bags feeling like full, like yes, did it, completed, yes, 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 like, like in the bag feeling. And then this like full release and allowing the next month to happen rather than this constant, didn't do that again, rolls over to the next month or the next month or the next thing. Okay, so you're gonna tap over your head like this. And tap over your heart like this, which is getting your body to make these upgrades. So take nice deep breaths. So I'll just read it again. So we've got worry. If there's any worry in your body, digestive system, there is between those different like action items coming out. So the tapping just helps your brain to go find, basically look through you and see is there any worry in that. Processing through and then heart to store it, linking to I allow all the factors of my life to transition with ease and grace. I allow all the factors of my life to transition with ease and grace. I allow all the factors of my life to transition with ease and grace. Linking to um, our bladders and just their ability to fully like and then release and that feeling of like it's in the bag checked it off done it yeah and then we've got um, that's linking to the months of the year of 2019 and then one more piece that I didn't mention was linking to our hearts and that feeling of joy when you've like fully accomplished and fully let go nice deep breath and then one more little piece as we're tapping this out it's just if there's any fear of um, not knowing if you have everything you need you know that like can I even do it like am I gonna have what I need to be able to do these things Nice deep breaths. Okay, so that is good for now. Um, this little session is complete. So just give yourself a moment, maybe have some water, tune in and see how you feel. And definitely let me know in the comments if any of this resonated with you. So did you feel like, oh yeah, like I experienced that too. 
and notice if it's any different now, let me know. And if you have any tips or tools that you know that you want to share or things that have helped you, please share those in the comments because part of my vision is that this year, our laugh community, we can share and laugh and create more powerfully together, help each other, connect, collaborate, and really support each other to reach our goals and our dreams and know that we are connected and we can't do it all by ourselves, even though you are the whole point of your life, but connected, that's when we make a whole new world. So join me in that vision. If you're not yet subscribed, please, this would be the like, click the like. I really appreciate that. It does make a big difference and make sure you are subscribed. And I'm gonna see you for more regular videos. I am making it my thing, there we go. I don't know why, but I'm holding up this number four as representing I am for it happening. <laughs> um, and I will see you in the next video. And right now I'm like, I want to tell you about all the ideas I have, but then I'm like, maybe I won't because I'm terrified I might not do it. And then I'm like, I should just tell you. Anyway, I'll tell you about it in the next video. I hope you're excited.